We're here today in Northern Virginia, just a few minutes away from our office, and we're doing testing for the detection of drones, tracking them both in low flights over the ground as well as very high up in the air and maneuvering. The radar here is the Black Marlin. The Black Marlin is an X-band Doppler radar. It has the ability to spin 360 and also covers not only a 2D swath of the land, but also can do 3D scans as well. Today we'll be monitoring that on a laptop computer. The tracks from this radar will feed on a map, as well as detection data, engineering data for us to also be able to tell how well it's doing. And uh, we also have video from our drone, which today the drone we're flying is a Phantom 4. We'll probably fly it out to about a kilometer or so. Uh, normally we'll fly it out to about a mile, but today we're doing this mainly just to look at the 3D aspect of detection. There it is, detected it. See the drone right in the center of the picture. See it there? It's a nice shot. So, radar has picked it up. Um, it's going to keep that elevation angle for as long as it's detecting it. Sort of doing a racetrack right now, going back and forth between 200 meters and 700 meters. Longest range of this radar should be about uh, three miles for detection range. On the map overlay, you see a nice target detection of the drone itself. Uh, a red square with a vector telling you the direction of that. Uh, and then the uh, bottom graph is a power graph, power versus range, or signal magnitude versus range, actually. So that uh, gives you some um, further clarification or uh, identification that it's a real object. We did track the drone at an altitude of about 40 meters high. It was flying anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour. We did extremely well at um, picking up the target at the expected distance. Range performance was perfect wherever the uh, drone was being reported on the drone's interface. We were getting exact same range on the radar. So in all in all, very good day.